looking at this problem involving sets, relations and functions, the first part of the problem asks for the number of relations from the set 1, 3, 5 to the set A, B, C. Now whenever one discusses about the concept of relations, just remember it as the number of subsets of the set obtained by the cross product of the two sets. So this is the best way to remember the concept of relations. So we just need to compute the number of subsets of the cross product A cross B. Now we very well know when there are two sets, one containing m elements and the other containing n elements, A cross B is obtained with containing the number of elements will be m times n. Okay, so here it is 3 times 3 which is equal to 9 and further we know that if a set containing n elements, it the total number of subsets of this particular set has 2 power n elements and therefore in this particular scenario we are looking at 2 power 3 into 3 which is equal to 2 power 9 number of relations. So this will be equal to 2 power 3 times 3 which is equal to 2 power 9 which is equal to 512. So the important concept which we made use here is that the number of relations from one set to another set is equal to the total number of subsets of the cross product of the two sets, that is it. Coming to the next part of the problem, it is asked to find the number of constant functions from the set of real numbers to a distinct set which contains 0 to 28, all even numbers from 0 to 28, so this has got 15 elements. So again this is something which you have to be careful, The how to count the number of elements in a particular set. So here it has 15 elements and then we have the continuous set of real numbers. We are asked to find the number of constant functions from the set of real numbers to this set. Now if you want to draw a diagram to represent the given problem, what we are asked is all the elements in the domain should be mapped to one element. So there are 15 elements here. So how many functions, constant functions do we have here? All the elements can either be mapped all of them can be mapped to the first element, all, all of them can be mapped to the second element and similarly all of them can be mapped to the 15th element. So in total we are looking at 15 different constant functions. So all that mattered here was the cardinality of the co-domain and it had nothing to do with the cardinality of the domain. Okay? So here the answer is equal to 15. The next problem it asks to find the number of one to one functions from A to A. In fact, here it is other way around, the number of one to one functions is given to be equal to 720 and we are required to find the number of elements in the set A itself. So again, just draw a simple diagram to get an idea of how to go about it. So here we are having, looking at both the, both the sets are the same A and A. So there are few elements here, the same number of elements here. And we want the functions to be one to one. So which means that every element here can be mapped, ha, uh, can be the image of exactly one element from the domain. So it can be this way or otherwise it can be, you can map this to this, this to this and so on. So what essentially matters here is that if you take the first element, it has got, if the number of elements is taken to be n, the first element has got n choices. The second element can be mapped to n minus 1 choices because the first element, has the one thing has already been chosen and we are looking at 1 to 1 functions. And similarly for the third function, there will be n minus 2 choices and similarly for the last element, there will be 1 choice. So which means that you are, to, in total you are looking at n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times so on, which is equal to n factorial. Okay? So what is given in the question is that n factorial is equal to 720. In fact, this is a thing which you can actually remember that the number of one to one functions from a set to itself is equal to n factorial. Okay? So n factorial is equal to 720 and we very well know that 6 factorial is 720 which implies n is equal to 6. So that is the answer for this part and finally coming to the last part, the question asks us to find the number of identity functions on this discrete set containing 6 elements. Now asking for identity functions, so this is a very important concept. 
whatever be the set, whether it be discrete or continuous, even the set of say the real numbers which is a huge set, the number of identity functions is equal to 1. That is because the identity function on any set is a unique thing which is a property of that set and therefore there can't be more than one thing. Okay? So for the last part, the answer is equal to 1 and that is it.